gonna tell you what to do, how to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own. I play cool. Hey Prissy Gang, welcome back to my channel. For today's eye look, I am using the recently dropped Morphe palette um, collaboration with Nikita. And she would probably come for my lashes right now knowing that I was using, you know, her extra palette for a basic brown eye look. But it is fall, guys, and I've been playing with colors a lot lately, so I wanted to just do a little something different, have a little fall moment. But I did play around with her palette earlier in the day, and I tried to record, like, a purple and pink kind of eye look. But you guys, like, today is just not my filming day. I've had so many issues but regardless of it all, I am filming this and I am posting it and I'm going to be keeping it real raw, real, real with you guys in this video. Before I give you my first impressions on this palette, please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you found my information helpful or if you like the eye look, whatever. And hit that notification bell that way every time I post a video, you guys will be the first to know. So jumping into my first impressions of this palette, I think that the colors are gorgeous. I think this palette is super affordable. It has 35 shades and I believe it's like $30. So that in itself is a steal. I know Morphe is always like reasonable in their prices and I have never purchased a Morphe palette for myself. This is actually the first time I purchased for myself. The um, last palette that I used from Morphe, I actually purchased it for my mother-in-law and I was so jealous because I ended up like loving it. I did her makeup with it and everything was just so easy to blend and the colors were super pigmented and it just, it was just awesome. This palette, um, you need a little bit more TLC in the blending department. Um, I, from my point of view, I love playing with makeup. I love, you know, trying out different looks. I love learning about the different textures and formulas and all that stuff. However, I am still trying to figure out what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what looks good on me, what doesn't look good, you know, how to do this, how to do that. Like I'm still in that process of finding myself in this makeup, like this makeup journey, I guess you could say. So for me and where I'm at in my I guess makeup journey. <laughs> um, I want a wham bam thank you ma'am palette. Like I want to be in and out and like I don't want to spend 30 minutes trying to blend out like two shades for an easy eye look. Like I don't want to do that and you know maybe in the future I will be on my like MUA shit and I will you know have this thing nailed down packed and I wouldn't mind like doing all this and you know taking that extra time to blend. But for me right now, like, I just want something that's easy and something that just helps me on my way, like, <laughs> help me make a fire look and, like, let's call it a day. And even though this palette needs that extra TLC, like, it's not impossible. It's not too hard. Um, you know what I mean? But that's just something that stands out to me from my point of view from where I'm at, like, in this makeup YouTube community. When I like review products or like think about buying products, the first thing that comes to mind is can I blend it, you know, with little to no effort or is this going to take me like a super freaking long time and it's just going to stress me out and frustrate me. So I've noticed that ColourPop has really good palettes that are so blendable. Like I've never had any problems with the majority of the ones that I have. Um, and another like my number one palette at this time is the Tarte. I think it's Tarte. Um, just peachy mattes now that palette takes like no effort to blend and it it was just so amazing to use and if you guys want to see me do a video with that palette comment that down below um and i like really suggest i highly recommend it for people who are like me and who just don't want to deal with that you know extra time on going in on blending but anyways um so that's something that stood out to me other than that i think this palette is great i think the shades are absolutely beautiful i mean uh this is a palette that you can just build up and you know the more color you build up the more gorgeous it looks it's super affordable it's you know huge like i said it's like 35 shades i do wish that morphe palettes came with the mirrors because it has like that whole packaging that whole space up top um i definitely think that it can hold a mirror but other than that, like, you know, that that's my first impressions of this palette. 
I also picked up one of her liquid lips and I am absolutely in freaking love with them. Like I was so mad at myself because I was in such a rush to get the palette and get a, you know, get the lipstick before it, everything sold out that I didn't even realize or see that they had other colors for the liquid lip. Um, but yeah, so I got the shade Nikita and it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. The shade is amazing. The formula is like outstanding. The formula it doesn't even feel like anything's on your lip. It's not drying. It's not like chapping. I don't know if that's a word, but it's it's not it's not bad at all. And I I absolutely love this liquid lip. And I was definitely in a need for it because I just threw away all of my old ones. And it was probably about like 20 of them. And I <laughs> I haven't really bought any since. But anyways, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. The packaging, it looks kind of like a crystal quartz to me. And I thought that was super cute. And yeah, like I have nothing bad to say about the liquid lip. So today for me was really like a bad filming day um, just because this was my second attempt at using this palette and you know, it just wasn't coming together how I imagined it. And to be honest, like I'm looking at this video and you know, some angles and some shots, I'm like, bitch, you could have definitely blended a little bit more. And then other angles, I'm like, girl, that looks cute. So I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's just the camera, the lighting. Um, I don't know, like I'm just not 100% with this look today, but I did want to post it anyways, just because, you know, like I'm human guys, like I'm going to have good makeup days, I'm going to have bad makeup days. Um, and so far, I've only been posting the good. And for every good day, I have like three bad days. So I wanted to just be real with you guys and show you like, sometimes my looks ain't ain't on point but you know it's the process trust the process because i'm gonna look back at this next year and be like girl you don't came a long way